Howdy folks, here's my Wonderer again uh, and that crash in the previous video caused a little bit more damage than I first thought so I'll just uh, go through what's happened and we'll repair them in this video. First of all the landing gear is all bent up um, and someone asked about how I make landing gear so I'll use this repair to show my methods. Uh, bit of a crack in the rear part of the fuselage here bit of hot glue and tape for that one. The rudder servo is also stripped so I'll need to pull out that servo there and replace it. Okay, let's get on with it. Starting off with hot gluing the crack in the tail boom and that was actually a previous break that opened up again so the hot glue just let go. So a bit more hot glue and a bit of reinforcing tape and that will be good to go. The landing gear is braced by this Kevlar kite string, but you could use any sort of strong line. And the actual uh, legs are just cable tied on to the bottom of the fuselage. And it had a bit of double sided tape there as well. To support the landing gear I have 3mm ply glued onto the bottom of the fuselage uh, and holes drilled in uh, through that. and the same inside the fuselage as well, there's some more 3mm ply there. To replace this stripped rudder servo I just need to loosen off the screws in that bracket that holds the tail on. Then I can get access to the horizontal stabiliser and I just rip the servo out. It's totally stripped. Replacing it with a, an Emacs plastic gear 9 gram servo. And I'm just making sure the servo arms are about the same length and they're good. I have to drill a hole in there for the push rod to fit in and plug it back in. A little blob of hot glue and gluing it back into place. Now, if you're observant, you might see that I'm putting it back in the original uh, mounting area rather than my flipped over spot. So that means I'll have to reverse the rudder direction in the programming. After drilling out the hole to the right size, I'm putting the push rod back in there. And so that's all done. I can reassemble the tail assembly. Just screwing the bracket back up again. And reconnecting the push rod. The ding in the wing just needs a band-aid. I could cut out a bit of foam and do it properly but it doesn't really matter for this plane. Now the landing gear, the axle is just a piece of piano wire and has a little uh, linkage adjuster as an axle stopper on one end and a, just a right angle bend on the other end. So I just need an allen key to undo that grub screw and I can pull the axle out. Now I'm going to shorten the landing gear because I think uh, the way it came was a bit too long and now I've got bigger wheels as well so I'm cutting about two centimetres off the length of the legs and I'll just round off those sharp corners as well. I'm reforming that little vertical bend in a vise and it's just a matter of putting it in and bending it over by hand until it's at the right angle. For my own landing gear I use this 20mm by 1.6 I think aluminium from the hardware shop but the Mini Ranger original landing gear is a little bit uh, thicker and, and tougher than what I can make myself so I'll stick with that one. Now I have to drill holes for the uh, piano wire axle and that's about two and a half millimeters I think so I just get the appropriate drill and drill a hole. And I use a countersinking bit just to get rid of those sharp burrs after drilling the holes. Now I can refit the wheels and axles to the landing gear legs. And with a little bit of thread locker on that grub screw, I can refit the stopper. Cable ties go through into the battery bay area, two in each hole I use. 
and they will still break away in a decent crash and then I have to poke them back out again and just tighten them up as tight as I can that's pretty well done now just cleaning up the excess I can run a line from down near the wheels up to the motor mount for a little bit more durability but that will work as it is quite well in the meantime the weather had turned nasty it was 20 knots with rain squalls coming through and freezing cold so the only spot I could try it out was on a slope sawing site facing northwest but you'll have to wait till next video to see how that went.